Hey, hey Atul. hello. I'm hey, Kofi. Guys. I'm here with your 23.3 <laughs> questions. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Nice oh, to see you. Good. This is a lovely place you have here. Thank you so much. So, starting with the questions straight away. Are you single? <laughs> no, I'm not single. I'm married. I got married on the 31st December um, of 2016 to uh, Tracy. Oh, yeah. why did you marry Tracy? I married Tracy because I think she compliments me a lot. She has a lot of great skills that I think are, that are great. And um, I love her a lot. Uh, we both love Kizomba as well. And um, yeah, I thought it would be, she would be a great person to build a home with. That's interesting. You love Ghana too much. What three things do you love about Ghana the most? Uh, I would say hospitality. I mean, I think Ghanaians are very hospitable and it comes out in many ways. For me, home is where the heart is and I love Ghana because it is home. And I also love Ghana because of networks. I think we have a sense of community that helps a lot of people to, do, to get things done and we are very networked. So home, hospitality, networks. Wow, that's nice. What three things would you want improved about Ghana? I'll say the first thing is definitely infrastructure. I think, you know, we have to do much better with the kind of infrastructure, infrastructure that we have, especially around roads, um, health, education, and things like that. It would really help us go to the next level. Aside that, I would like to see Ghanaians have a better sense of responsibility and not absolve themselves of solving problems, thinking that it's someone else's fault and thinking that it's someone else who has to solve it. And then the third thing I would add is technology. I'd like to see Ghanaians embrace technology more, become uh, better early adopters, so that you know, we can really leverage technology to develop ourselves and make things easier. Wow, that's good. Who picked the name Ghana Think and why? So, Ghana Think is a name we picked a long time ago. Previously, um, I was part of a group of Ghanaian students in the US, UK, Ghana, elsewhere, and we're called Ghana Conscious. So we're conscious about Ghana, discussing Ghana, coming up with solutions for things that are relevant to Ghana. We came up with Ghana Think because we were thinking about solving uh, some of these problems and, you know, wanting to think about Ghana, or, you know, always thinking about Ghana first and things like that. So it was picked by, I guess, our group of Ghana Conscious leaders, um, that included myself. Wow, that's interesting story there. Your next question, Tracy would like to ask you that. Hey, where did your names come from? Uh, my names. So <laughs> my name is uh, Atul Olsen Apia. Um, Atul is a name for a boy born on Saturday uh, in the Fanti tribe in Ghana. So I would love to see that more Ghanaians can spell Atto and not mistake it for Achu and A-T-T-O-H. Atto is A-T-O, please. Um, Olsen is a Dutch name. Um, from, I'm from Elmina, and Elmina has a lot of ties with, the, with Holland. My great-great-great-grandfather in the, I think, the 17th century was born to a Dutch man and a fancy lady, and I'm one of his descendants. Apia is a popular Ghanaian name uh, from the Akan tribe. Normally when I travel around the continent and I mention my name, some uh, African ladies ask me whether I'm related to Jackie Apia <laughs> because they watch a lot of uh, Ghanaian movies and the guys also ask me whether I'm related to Stephen Apia oh, okay. because they also follow football a lot. So that's, those are where my names come from. Thank wow, you. that's interesting. You worked at Google. What was the experience like? Working at Google was great. I'd always, one of my goals um, when I was at Stanford was to work at Google and uh, that I was able to meet that goal. I loved the fact that Google wanted its, or wants its products to be used by people all over the world. You know, a lot of tech companies try to focus on particular markets and I love how Google was going after Africa and trying to get people to use it. So. Um, when I was working for Google, I got the chance to be able to travel to Kenya, Uganda, Nigeria, South Africa, Tanzania, and Ethiopia for the first time, even though I knew so much about those countries. So it really opened, it really helped me in that sense. And there were so many 
great, awesome people at Google that I was able to work with and become friends with. So that was very valuable for me. Wow. A top for president, are you ready? So the short answer is no. <laughs> Um, I always say that I'm not interested in being the president of Ghana. Um, but the only way I would be ready, if it, I was interested, is if we had a critical mass of Ghanaians who, you know, believed in some better things. I feel like now, the way our politics is, um, it rewards the wrong people because a lot of people are following politics for the wrong reasons. A lot of people are following leaders for the wrong reasons. So I want to see us get to a point uh, where people embrace ethics, people embrace developing Ghana instead of wanting to win an election or keeping themselves in power. I think when we get to that point and we have a lot of people that would basically turn the country around, I'll probably be more interested or I'll be ready to be president. That's good to know. Music with a fill. What's up with Music A? So Music A is the first entrepreneurial activity I kind of started. And um, this was in 2007 after we had incubated a Ghana and African music lyrics um, database. Uh, music A had a great run uh, due to some priorities that I had together with the co-founders. We had to shut it down because we didn't have enough time to work on Music A but we are working on a music 2.0 and music with the feel is the placeholder for that so music with the feel is basically about african music songs that we really like mm. that we really want to recommend that we really want to experience wow looking forward to more music with a feel yes. watch it versus jollof pick one this is very easy it's watch it i mean mm. watch is the best selling food in the world <laughs> um if you start selling watch it it gets finished quicker than any food. <laughs> so yeah, for me, definitely watch it. I try to eat it every Wednesday, unless for some reason I didn't have access to it. Ghana Jollof versus Nigeria Jollof. This is another easy one. Ghana Jollof, definitely. And it's not because I'm from Ghana. I think any objective person who's had Ghana Jollof and watch Jollof will choose Ghana. It's more delicious, it's more spicy. We use better rice for it. So <laughs> the Nigerians, they are just, they're just, they are just, they are just, they are just loud, you know, because okay. they are loud, it feels like they are, they are, Jollof is better. I always say Nigeria is um, Ghana's younger brother that had more children, oh, okay. but definitely Ghana Jollof. Okay, okay, that's interesting. Let's say it's a 2.233 moment right now. What's on your mind? I'm thinking about my home. And uh, I'm thinking about my home for the near future. Mm, that's nice. Junior camp versus bar camp, what's the difference? So bar camps uh, focus in Ghana, focus on 18 to 35 year olds. Uh, and it focuses more on building a network of people. So there's networking, is very, networking and mentoring is very important there. Junior camps focuses more on high school students, so 12 to 18 year olds. And while it focuses on mentoring, it focuses more on career mentoring. So how can uh, high school students be counseled and guided? And Junior Camp also focuses on value for high school students to be able to grow themselves. Mm. So I'll say there's an age difference and there's also a bit of a focus difference. Nice. Great. Uh, would, you, would you like a drink, actually? Sure. I should offer you I something. I would really love it. Okay, great. So your next question is, describe Barcamp in three words. Barcamp in three words, I'll say learning, sharing, and networking. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll come and give you another three words in the jiffy. So here's your water. Thank you. The other three words I'll pick for Barcamp would be entrepreneurship, leadership and technology. Oh, cool. You've been to all the former 10 regions of Ghana. Which one was your favorite? Wow. Um, so I'm from Elmina in the central region. I hold that dear. I grew up in Ashanti region, Kumasi, and I live in the greater Accra region now, Accra. Um, aside those, I'll pick the Upper East region as my favorite. I believe the best food in Ghana is made and cooked in Upper East. 
Um, I think it's a place that has a lot of great tourism potential and the people there are quite pleasant. You know, um, Ghanaians are pleasant, but I think on, in Upper East, they take it to a bit of another level. That's good to know. What's your favorite food? Oh, watch it. Me. Describe it in three words. <laughs> Wonderful, delicious, versatile. Cool. What one place or tourist spot in Ghana do you want to visit? Mount Sinafajato. Mm -hmm. I haven't been there yet. I would love to be able to climb it. Okay. One, of, one of these months. Wow. Shatawale versus Stoneboy versus Sakodia. Huh. This is definitely between Stoneboy and Shata and uh, no Stoneboy and Sakodia. Okay. <laughs> but I'll, even though I listen to a lot of Stoneboy songs now, I'll pick Sakodia. I think Sakodia, um, Sakodia's music is something a lot of Ghanaians should listen to because he has a lot of great things to say. And um, I love Obrafo a lot. Yeah, I, I've always been a big fan of Obrafo. And I think the difference between Sarkozy and Obrafo for me is YouTube and social media. You know, Sarkozy has been able to really carry the flag of Ghanaian music abroad. And he's well known, and I think definitely I'll choose him. Um, his song with Castro Adonai uh, is, I think, the most viewed Ghanaian music mm. song on YouTube. That's nice. And, you know, it's, 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 it's been quite popular and I think he's worked very hard and he deserves all the success he's been getting. Wow, that's good. Twitter versus Facebook? I'll definitely pick Twitter um, because I think Twitter is a place to be able to build even better networks, have access to different types of people and learn a lot. The other reason I like Twitter a lot is um, it helps you figure out what is going on. You know, um, it's a place it's that going on. we, um, for Ghana, I think we use Twitter at our bar camps a lot for people okay. to, to know what is going on at the bar camp. Um, and I also like the idea of the trending topics, you know, which helps you figure out what is happening. You know, you can just get onto a hashtag and figure out what is happening around it. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I think for those reasons, I prefer Twitter to Facebook, okay. even though I use Facebook a lot. Oh, okay. Do you believe the earth is flat? And do you have any proof? <laughs> I believe the Earth is not flat. I believe the Earth is circular as a globe, the way you know we've been seeing it, and science has also proven. And I'll give you a couple of uh, reasons around that. You can just look at the idea of time zones, okay? And um, you know sometimes when there's daylight in Ghana, it is nice time elsewhere because we are rolling around the sun, and our exposure to sun also determines whether we have daylight or not. So I believe the Earth is round. And um, yeah. <laughs> okay. um, let's talk more action. When you hear that word, what comes to your mind? Uh, for me, um, I'll say doing. The word doing comes to mind, um, whereby people want to get things done. I think in, uh, in Ghana and similar cultural neighborhoods, we do a lot of talking and um, we don't do a lot of doing or acting. And a lot of the talking is also just talking around the problem, talking around, this, around the situation. Um, I would love to see that, you know, just based on let's talk more action, even when we are talking, we are talking about how we're going to act. You know, so it gets us quicker to results, it gets us quicker to examples, it gets us quicker to things that we can hold and celebrate. Wow, that's nice. I also believe in the let's talk more action. We should be doing more action. In a nutshell, what is Ghana Think? So Ghana Think is a social enterprise that is working mostly in the youth empowerment space with programs uh, focused on networking, mentoring, volunteering and training. Oh, good. Why do you want to keep pushing back up? So I want to keep pushing back up and us as Ghana Think want to keep pushing back up because we believe that what Barcamp is doing is tied into what Ghana Think's vision is. And Ghana Think's vision is building a critical mass of young Ghanaian people who are patriotic, who are passionate, who are positive, who are proactive, who are progressive, and who are productive. That's a lot of P's. Yes, so it's the six P's. So we believe that, you know, when we have this critical mass, would have a lot of young Ghanaian people who would require that the right things would be done, you know, would make some better decisions for us. We would have our active years, you know, as youth, being contributing a lot more to Ghana because we are these things. 
and we would also be following better leaders. This is very important for me, following better leaders and you know doing best practices right and i think it also make us better early adopters of technology and uh, adopters of better things to do and we would even be able to get a better middle class because we will be supporting what we are also doing in ghana so i think this is why we keep on to push what we are doing within bar camp and in a greater sphere ghana think because we believe that when we get to that point and our vision is met ghana would be um, a great country that Ghanaians would love and we would not suffer from that. We would just get better. Wow. Yes. That was your last question. It's been amazing um, asking you these questions and getting all those insightful answers. Thank you so much for your time. We are glad to have been here and would we'll definitely pass by some other time to ask more 23.3 questions. Thank you so much for having me around this 23.3 .3 questions and more of them to everyone who's watching. Sure, we'll see you some other time. Thank you.